you were also at American Express, mm -hmm. HSBC, Goldman Sachs. And these are places with very strong bottom lines. How did you persuade changes at places where, at least on paper, nothing was wrong? Well, you know, you talked about American Express, Goldman Sachs, HSBC. These are great companies. And uh, uh, if the leaders at the top of the companies are serious about creating a culture based on the right values, then it's not difficult. If the leaders want to create a culture of lifelong learning uh, and, 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 and they put their money where their mouth is, it's not that difficult. And at Goldman Sachs, uh, that was more true than ever before, uh, anywhere else that I knew of. American Express absolutely was a learning culture. So my job was that much easier. So I, th I would say that's the number one thing um, a, in terms of creating a learning culture. Uh, also at Goldman, you know, there were two types of people, those who believed in lifelong learning and good leadership and reflection, and those who said, ah, I'm an investment banker, I just want to make money and all this fluffy stuff is not for me. So how did we convert those guys? Well, we asked ourselves, well, what do they care about? Well, they care about making money, but they also care about their clients. Uh, so what we did is we came up with a novel idea. Why don't we offer our leadership academy uh, to our clients? And if clients speak highly of it, maybe uh, the skeptics within the firm will come around. And that's exactly what happened. We opened it up to clients and we went to bankers and said, listen, you're doing an M&A transaction. You're bidding for an M&A transaction. Why don't you tell the client that if they did the deal with us, they get the free services of our, of our academy for post-merger integration. And that's how it started. And before we knew it, everybody was on board. Then we recruited, recruited some of the biggest skeptics as teachers. And you know, teaching is learning twice. So anyway, um, uh, it, was, it, was, it was great, it was a lot of fun.